April 1930, the unlucky Cloverfield. All right, so it seems like we've reached the second chapter. I guess the chapters are months in this game. Tied up. I answer in that much. Do I click something? When the girl awoke, she found herself in a strange room. It was a cold, lonely, stinky room. Struggling's not doing much good here. Good morning, Jennifer. How do you feel? Let's have a little chat, shall we? Uh, sure. I guess there's not much else I can do. I'm tied up. Hmm, good girl. Jennifer, you know you've been a bad, bad girl. And bad girls need to be punished, don't they? Um, do bad girls need to be punished? For my sake, I'll say no. <sighs> A bad, bad girl who's not sorry, hmm? Anyway, I'll be the one giving the orders around here, okay? Nope. <sighs> I deny your request for taking your orders. Sorry, I'm not with you on this one. <sighs> Silly girl. You still don't understand. Well, you will before long. Now, I'm going to give you your first order. Every month you need to find a gift and bring it to the aristocrat club. If you don't, I'll kill you. Is there anything about this that you don't understand? Uh... <laughs> There's a few things about that I don't understand. What's a gift? Why are you gonna kill me? So yes, there's things I don't understand. Yes? Hmm. Oh well. It doesn't really matter what you say. You see, Jennifer, there are really only two kinds of people in the world. Those who take orders, and those who give them. And from now on, I'll be giving the orders. Not fair? Well, dear Jennifer, nothing's fair here. <laughs> you will follow my orders or else. <laughs> For I am the prince and the prince rules. <laughs> this is your life, but you'll play by my rules. <laughs> Let the games begin, dear Jennifer. <laughs> And so, the rope was cut, snip snip, and the girl joined the aristocrats club. Congratulations, congratulations. All right, can I take the scissors for my own? Seems like it, they're shiny. The scissors are just out of her reach. Right, so we need something else around here to probably go get them. The blackboard is badly smudged and unreadable. As the girl examined the headless scarecrow, it pleaded. Lass, please help me find my head. Once I am whole again, I'll return the favor. OK. 
Okay. There's a big wooden box covered with dirt and grass. The sack inside it is covered in animal hair. There's a door there, but... When the girl examined the bucket, it pleaded, Lass, please put my me back atop my body. Back on top of the headless scarecrow behind you. If you do, I'll help you in return. Jennifer found bucket. As the girl placed the bucket in its proper place, it spoke. I am the Bucket Knight, Keeper of Promises. Yet time can be so cruel, for I have aged and cannot remember the past. You know what I refer to, and I know what you know. However, you do not know at the moment, nor can you remember. Let us recall our memories together in order to remember our promise. Story hints. When you aren't sure how to proceed, talk to the Bucket Knight and select Ask for Clues in order to receive a hint about what to do next. What is it you ask of me? I'll ask for clues here. If memory serves me correctly, the order you've been given is the reason you are you. It may be unpleasant, yet you have no choice but to follow it. A tribute to the Aristocrat Club. That's your only clue. Poor, helpless, and lucky girl, tell me your tale. Save my game. He seems pretty excited to let me save my game here, so we'll save over April. Uh, override, please. Now then. And saved. And just to confirm, is it offline for everyone right now, or is it good right now? Like, can you guys see, or can you not see? Alright, it's good. Got it. So back to the psycho. Now, what do I need? Something to get the scissors. Dirty clothes are stuffed inside them. Foul-smelling laundry baskets sit on the shelf. Dirty clothes stuffed inside them. Got it. It's actually one of the first things I observed that has not a close-up. As the girl looked at the rubbish bin, it spoke to her. My belly is as dark as night and as deep as the abyss. Anything in the world that is dropped will be collected inside it. About stocking items. Or stacking? I think it's a stocking though. Any items you collect can be stored in this rubbish bin. If you can't find the bin, just select an item from the menu screen. Select drop and the item will be stored here. There's no need to worry about losing it. Store an item? Not at this point. We don't have, even have too many items in our name. Uh, I guess I'm going to try this door over here and see if there's anything I can find that's a stool. Sector 8, Cargo Bay. Alright. Uh, I guess, first of all, I should look off to see where the fuck I am. Let's observe this. You are invited to the Aristocrat Club, Red Crown Aristocrats. Okay, I guess I'm running this direction first. Now, I still need the scissors, so uh, finding a place to get the scissors is probably useful. Okay, that did somewhat startle me. I also hear a noise. Is that like a plane projector or something else? You are invited to the Aristocrat Club, I just read something like that. Oh, 
Oh, there's doors over here that are locked. I'm gonna check more of the doors along the game here, though. As well as items, to make sure there's nothing I'm missing here. I see bags, I see people. So what's up here? Just, uh, lock things? Is that all I can hope for? Apparently so. Is this a door? Not a door I can open, but it's indeed a door. I can confirm its existence. Now, uh, there's something over here, I thought. Well, there's this door right here, but... Another door is... Another locked one. So many locked doors. The noise needs to be coming from over here, so this one's probably open. After the... You were invited to the Aristocrats Club. Uh, it's pointing towards that sign, so I'm not sure if I should follow it yet. I kind of want to explore more before I just leap right into where the club is apparently at. There's other directions I can get fully explore. It just seemed like it was the right way, though. Let's try the other doors, though, before I give up. Oh, this... Oh. Another thing that will not let me continue. Uh, yeah, I guess that's the only way I can go right now. Let's go and read whatever this says. Please all, uh, waste paper, uh, place all waste paper in the rubbish bin. Take laundry to the filth room. Headmaster. I guess, uh, if we're in the magical airplane school of flying hogs. I'm not even gonna try and name it. I'm just gonna wait till it tells me. I guess this is supposed to be Rose Orphanage, but... Let's check to see what this is leading us to. Sector 8's stairway. We still have no scissors to our name. A damn shame. Nothing over there. They seem to have finally taken the time to lock all the doors survival horror style. Probably is telling me that the club is up here, right? Yep. It's telling me to go up. I guess in this circumstance, I really have no choice but to go up. All the other doors are either blocked off or locked. So, what's inside this sector of this uh, cargo plane thing? First class guest sector. Fancy. Is it going to look fancy? It looks fairly fancy. Social rank refined class. Duchess, Diana, or Diana. Countess, Eleanor. Baroness, Meg. Lower class. Poor Amanda. Beggar, Jennifer. Alright. So we're in the lower class right now, apparently. Uh, this place is locked. There's something written next to it, though. Which I guess I cannot read. Alright. Uh, the Red Crown Royalty. Red Rose Princess. Bear Prince. So those are the top two Bear Prince and Red Rose Princess. Then we have three basic little sisters. The Duchess, the Countess, and the Baroness. And then we have... Or the Burgerlies, Poor. And then the Beggar. Because we're at the bottom of the list, of course. Alright, I'm over here. The Rules of Gifts. Find a gift of the month. All members must participate. Tardiness, stealing, and cheating are prohibited. Junk, toys, and more. No refunds, only exchange. Red Crown Aristocats. Alright, a lot of doors to investigate. Damn bad kids. One of these days. Seriously, how many of you are holding these doors hostage? Quite a few of you, apparently. You'd have to wonder how many doors they've got manned for these. Looking through the window, the unlucky girl saw that she was... The airship slowly swam through the sky, carrying the helpless... I should probably read this faster. Uh, I could go that way, but I'm going to check the other hallway before I get too far into this. But the point is, we are apparently on an airship. Hmm. 
The girls found the strange door, but where does it lead? Maybe I shouldn't know. Check the box, read the poster, open the door, make an offering, read the poster. This month's gift, a beautiful butterfly, one per person. Check the box, read the poster, open the door, make an offering. Check the box. A strange box is attached to the door. Things can be placed inside it. I probably shouldn't open the door, so I'll quit. I have a bad feeling I might die if I did this wrong. As the unlucky girl stood helplessly, the door spoke. Give me a beautiful butterfly, one per person. Is that clear? No gift, no entry. Is that clear? Give me a butterfly. Give me a butterfly. Find one and you shall be invited to join the aristocrat club. So butterflies are our name? Kids running off, are there game? Are these doors open now? I'm looking through the peephole. They seem to be enjoying themselves in there. Little brats. Okay. That must mean I can now check these other doors too. Sick bay. Looking for a butterfly as our journeys uh, end. So let's look around a little bit. No, 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 not back out. I mean, I don't really expect to find any butterfly in the sick bay, if I'll be honest, but that's not to say it won't be there. There's a few things that don't really seem like they belong here. And that's ignoring the fact that we're in an airship. But yeah. I... So in the sick bay, I meant to first of all check this. It opened up, I didn't get to check it beyond that. Nothing apparently. Quite the crowd room. Actually, there's someone here, isn't there? The unlucky girl met Hoffman, the strict teacher. When Hoffman caught Jennifer looking at him, he snapped at her. Dirty wretch. Why are you always shirking your duties? Huh? Seems to be a teacher here, and who are you? The unlucky girl met Clara, the frightened princess. As the princess looked down, she spoke to the girl with a feeble voice. How dirty! Now we're find a butterfly right now. Dots on the princess, I guess. How about you over here, teacher? Dirty wretch. Dirty wretch. I like the kind of relationship we have going on here. <laughs> now he's just laughing. Dirty wretch. <laughs> Enjoy your laughing while you can, teacher. Dirty wretch. Is he gonna laugh next time? Dirty no, wretch. he's gonna use the same names. <laughs> All right, we, we've had enough of an uh, intelligent conversation here today. Let's get on to the next room. Now then. Sick room. It's a drawing of a large flying fish. There's also a cute picture of children playing happily together. I guess we are probably, thanks to the opening hinting, we're probably on a giant flying fish. 
I also... Oh, there we go. A drawing of a rabbit. You get the impression that it means a lot to its owner. The more we know about giant fishes and rabbits, I guess. Nothing on the bed. Nothing over here. There's a door, though, which I can probably leave outside. First class guest sector. Now I'm gonna guess... Yep, this door led over here, which is where I saw the window earlier, so that means what's in here? Light... Hop... Never mind, that area is still closed. Only that hallway opened up. So, uh... This is a dead end. But if that's a dead end, and this is a dead end, then what's not a dead end? I guess I didn't check this hallway over here. Uh, anything behind this door? Dressing room. Fancy. There's someone here. Or I thought there was someone here from the angle. Never mind, there's no one here. I'm crazy. There's something that looks like it was shiny there, but I can't actually interact with it. So I guess that's in the negative. Quite a fancy dressing room, though. You have to admit it. I wish I had a dressing room this fancy. Poor, helpless, unlucky girl. Tell me your tale. Oh, it's the bucket. Ask for a hint, please, Buckethead. If memory serves me correctly, you are in search of a butterfly. A butterfly you are in search of. The green butterfly is the one you wish to follow. Offer the butterfly to the aristocrats. That's your only clue. Alright, so, green butterfly. Uh, no, the waste bin to stock items at. So this is like a room where I can store stuff and save my game. So essentially it's a save room. A fancy dressed up save room. Get it? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna up there. So what else is down here? That's nothing apparently. What about this door? It is firmly locked in place. Alright. Down here, there are no doors. There are wear marks on this wall. So there's a door, but it appears to be locked. It's nice to know there is a hidden door there, which means that there could be one like this on the other hallway. That or not all walls are to be trusted. So there's like secret passages in this place. I'll keep that in mind, and I'll check the other side for one of these things too. There is nothing on this side, though, apparently. Alright, so then I think that the other area I should check is back down where I came from in the hangar below. Uh, simply because that was where there was, like, doors that were locked previously. This all seems to be pretty locked up right now, so if we go down to the below corridors, there's a chance I can find a butterfly to get forward on the head. So far, I have seen no butterflies. So down back to the hangar to, I guess, locate a butterfly and hopefully some of the doors that are previously blocked will no longer be so. Alright, there's nothing down here. Uh, how about through this door? Sector 8's cargo bay. Actually, that's where I came from or something else entirely. Tackle the chubby girl, the green butterfly's ours! No, I mean, um... Uh, we should probably go and fight for that butterfly. I said follow the butterfly. So I have that's list, what we should probably do. No, these doors are still being blocked off by us, apparently. Or locked, or whatever else they are. But where did the... Who was that? Sector 8's turbulent turbine area? Turbine area. Turbine. Is the 
Is that dog? Is that dog? That's a dog. I'm not finding any immediate entrance to the dog, but it looks like there's a chute that leads into there. So I guess I'm supposed to find a way to the chute. Backup parts room. There's a shiny here. Jennifer found airship map. It's a map with doodles all over it. About maps, you can view a map by uh, selecting it and choosing the use button or by pressing the select button. You can zoom in or out of a map by pressing the square button or scroll using the left analog stick. Fancy. So besides having a map, is there anything else in this room? I have my doubts about that. Large boards, huge pieces of cloth, thick ropes, and steel rods. They seem to be spare parts for the airship. There's a fire extinguisher there, but what use would we have for a fire extinguisher? Apparently. I'd say use it as a weapon, but what do I know? Now that we look at our map, that looks a lot more complicated than I was expecting it to look. So let's zoom in. Uh, or oh, there's a door behind me to the mill area. Apparently, I didn't even see that. That's what maps are for. The dog was all alone, tied up and hung from the ceiling. With no means to cut the ropes and free him, the unlucky girl could only stand and watch the poor creature struggle. Well, that's kind of sad. So obviously let's find a way to get him down. I think I came out of that door, or I went into that door. Did I go inside that door? Come on. Yeah, I think I went inside that door. So uh, let's find out the door is to enter. You're next. Starboard Livestock Room. Starbeard, I think. Sounds like it has chickens, but it says woman in it. With their beady eyes, the chickens carefully inspect their tiny homes. What an exciting life for a chicken. Seriously, chickens are way too easily amused, in my opinion. All right, girl. The unlucky girl met Eleanor, the princess as cold as ice. Inside the arcade room, the princess shot an icy glare and said, Yes, she is a pain. Dots. Just a whole bunch of dots. All right, so out for me, Eleanor, apparently. Sector five, turbine area. So I don't think this is the door I came through, so where does this lead off to? Sector 10, crew cabin. That's a lot of sectors. I think in the airship was surprisingly large, according to the map. It reads, electric panel. That I means do something bad to it. Turn off the electricity. Overcome the man. I think that leads to where I just was. I guess now I have a map to check. But I haven't fully figured out how to read this thing yet. But yes, it does lead to the exact area I just was. So, no huge reason to go there yet. I'll explore these areas. There's one room in that hallway though I haven't explored yet. I'm gonna mash the button around and see. Did I just see something fall? Something did fall. If it was important though, that's another story. Alright, anything on the other end? There was.
was indeed something over here. A couple people, in fact. There's a bucket here, but apparently it's not one of my waste buckets I can store items in. Now, who or who are you? There is a new girl bed written there, which means that's probably my bed. Hello over there? The unlucky girl met Dia or Diana or Diana, the strong willed princess. As she gathered her courage to speak to the princess, the princess cursed. She's such a pain. <sighs> Just terrible. She really annoys me. Just terrible. What? She really annoys me. What? I'm getting too amused by that. Alright, so then we saw the fatter chick running over this direction. So, time to chase her down. She was chasing the butterfly that we need. Fatty, I, I mean girl, over here. Sector 11, Maintenance. Of course, none of them were to be found. Is that a door? Only this wall seems to be made of cloth. Well, that's not suspicious. Aren't most walls made out of cloth these days? Uh, now anyways, this seems to be a very big airship. Dang, the mansion seemed big, and I thought it was where the game was mainly going to take place. But apparently not, now I'm in an airship. And this airship seems surprisingly big. So now I don't even know. Are these just like individual levels? Are they... Are they somehow connected? It, I, I... Well, that's locked. I'm... I'm kind of surprised how large these environments are. Smoking room. Obviously the room for me. The unlucky girl met Thomas, the mischievous prince. The prince, who'd been busy with his antics, finally stopped and spoke to the girl. A new girl! A new girl! He seemed kind of special there. Uh... Good job, White Prince. You look. What's she like? <laughs> That's my new catchphrase. I can't do it the same as he can, though. I'm sorry, I'm just not as masterful of that talent. Uh, third passenger corridor? Okay. Oh, this is new. Where's that person? The unlucky girl met Martha, the queen of cleaning. The queen glared at Jennifer as if she were filthier than dirt itself. Filthy wretch. Seems like the adults have a very uh, firm opinion on me here. She didn't say anything. She just looks away from me. What a bitch. You're also, your fat ass is blocking the door, so... Good on you, I guess. Is that a baby crying? Is it a little girl crying or a baby? How big is this place? The unlucky girl met Olivia, the tearful princess. As the princess cried on, the girl gathered her courage and spoke to her. The tearful princess just cried on and on. However, oh, that's the green butterfly there. The green butterfly is on the ground. Take the butterfly. I probably shouldn't, because she's crying, but I will. <gasps> you deserve to be cobbled up.
It's a fork with a sharp prawns. About equipping items. Some items can be equipped as weapons. Just check to see if the equip option is available when you select an item on the menu screen. Jennifer found Desert Fork. It's a dead green butterfly. Its wings are tattered and messily fallen off. Jennifer found green butterfly. Alright. There's another shiny over here. Guess I'll take it. Jennifer found copper leaf. It's shaped like a leaf. Could it be part of something else? If it's at all possible, I think this game is getting weirder the more I play it. I guess I'm going to equip this. I'll take a fork, whatever. Uh, Jennifer is literally holding the fork. Back, you scallions! Alright. One leaf clover. Well, it has something special on it, but I can't open it. Four leaf clover. I think I get this puzzle. I think I get it. First, I'm gonna check this. Yep, two leaf clover. And then there should be a three leaf clover somewhere, right? Yes, yeah, not. Alright, so let's start with the one leaf clover. And if I go to my item menu and use the copper leaf. No, should I be in front of the door directly? I might not even know if this is what this is for accurately, but I'm gonna try. Oh, nothing happened. I really thought that was gonna be it. Unfortunately, the door is locked. Maybe it's the statue in the middle? You. Or not, because I can't interact with it. I will just assume I don't know what this is for right now. And go back downstairs. I could go to the aristocrats room. I want to explore a bit more before I head off there. Okay, besides ignoring the cleaning lady, uh, let's figure out where else we're headed. This area goes in pretty deep. Woman's Laboratory. Lavatory. I mean, it's lavatory, but yeah. Nothing inside that restroom thing. Nothing inside there. It must be because of the crack in the mirror. But you see the illusion of a strange man in the reflection. Um. Okay. I'll just, you know, with a strange man in the mirror. I'm just what can I say to that? All right, men's laboratory. Lavatory, whatever you say it as. Oh, hello there, kid. The unlucky girl met Xavier, the gluten house prince of the glutenous. As the prince chewed with his mouth full, he spoke to her. <laughs> Did you hear the news? Witches must love to clean. They always carry brooms, right? That witch over there has only got rags, though. Well, you should clean up like they do. Or else spooky things will come and do it. You must find a gift, or you'll get into trouble. I'm telling you, we're in trouble now. Even Mr. Hoffman said you have to clean up or else you get or else get cleaned up. You must find a gift. Already heard that. Or you'll get into I skipped a line trouble. with your other line there, kid. <laughs> Did you hear the news? Witches must leave to clean. Okay. 
Uh, I guess that's what he's for. Nothing else really around here, so... Yeah, anything here? Taking that as a negative, Nancy, so let's uh, head back on out. Alright, third passenger corridor. Which means through here we'll find... Sector to crew cabin. Must be something special. Can't say there's anything that looks too conspicuous here. If I it was was this where I was earlier? Why well, did just knock over something like that? Which would mean that the girl with red is over here. I somehow looped myself back around. How I managed to do that, I'm not fully certain. But we'll go over here, Sector 11 Maintenance. I got the green butterfly, so I could head backwards, so there's like one or two more things I want to check before I do. Actually, because I have this, can I now break this? Apparently the fork isn't good enough. That's where I entered into earlier, I'm pretty sure. Or not, this doesn't actually look super familiar. But there was more which I had checked in this direction, I remember that much. Is this where I went into? Evidently not, because it's locked. How about you? I think this is new territory. Oh, no, no, this is the smoking room I was at earlier with uh, the very special child. Really scrawny. <laughs> well, thank you. All right. There's one other door over here I have not checked. That was a weird sound effect. All right, which is you. And, of course, it's locked. So I've gotten the green butterfly. I think I can return back now, fine and dandy. I still have no way to get the pair of scissors, but I guess that'll come with time. The scissors could be used to break open that cloth, right. That just hit me right now. That's probably what the scissors were for, is to open up the cloth root. Usually you use scissors to cut things. I mean, I, I would argue you could probably still use a fork, but whatever. The game evidently doesn't want me to use a fork, so I will roll with it. It reads electric panel. Cool. However, though, wait, wait, wait. I haven't got a way to cut the dog down yet, though, have I? The scissors could also cut the dog down. What do I do for that? Such a five turb or turn turbine area. So this is where the dog was, if I remember correctly. And it should be... I don't think I've checked this door yet. Uh, Port Livestock Room. This is where the chickens were. If it is, I had a little bit of misdirection there. Oh no, it's not. It's a room with pigs. The pig is busy eating. It reeks badly. And else here besides pigs? Animal feed is scattered everywhere, running away. Well, that's a waste. It seems like it hasn't been used in a long time. Empty cages are stacked up. A heavy stench of animals fills the air. Well, there's only a single pig in here, so um, I'm going to suggest that they probably didn't take the best care of their pets. Use the fork to get the scissors. I'm pretty sure that wouldn't be the solution, but... Maybe I'm not even able to free the dog until after... I, I mean, I have a butterfly to get to the aristocrat's room. Maybe now that I have the butterfly, I'd do something to help me get, you know, the dog. I don't know if there's anything in there that would help me, but I do have my offering. I'm going to check in here briefly. There was actually someone sniffling in the last hallway. I'll follow that sniffling next time, but first I'm going in here. This is just out of reach. I think that maybe I have to go to the Red Aristocrats room, because I'm assuming that they were, like, turning something in their room to 
make it so that those scissors came down. So if I continue turning it, I should be able to utilize it. I hear a crying, though. I'm here? No, it's locked over there. So who's crying? I'm there. Battle. Sometimes enemies will jump out and impede Jennifer's progress. Attack. Hold down the R1 button to ready your combat. Ready for combat and press X button to attack. You will inflict greater damage if you have a weapon equipped. Damage. Gain hair grabbed by enemies will deplete your health. To shake them off, quickly move the left analog stick back and forth. If you keep taught at taking damage, you'll slow oh, you'll slow down and eventually collapse, and the game will end. So remember to replenish your health by using recovery items after taking damage. That's a midget. Back! I have a fork! Back! I, I have a fork, I'm not afraid to use it. Damn midget. One day we'll be finished with this poking battle. Up! Up, you demon. Well, that was bloody. Thankfully, my fork came and saved the day. In that very intense, epic battle. Now then, now, here we go. To drop off her butterfly, I suppose. Apparently, enemies cry. The more you know. A child rain aloud to be heard faintly. The unlucky girl. Something, something. I think we've heard this story before. Is it this door? No, that's locked. I guess she's practicing and reading with a story about the unlucky girl, which of course at this point has been us, so... First class guest sector. Wait, is that a hint that we're gonna drop the butterfly? We dropped the butterfly. But she dropped it. On the road, she found a two-leaf clover, but it, sl but it slipped into the sh shadows. Shadows. She found a three-leaf clover, but a witch hid it away. I'm pretty sure that's where they are telling the story. Now then, let's turn in our butterfly. She wanted to find a four-leaf clover, but she was too unlucky. Alright, I have several items here. What I want you to have here today is the green butterfly. Use it. Nothing happened. Oh, uh, do I just do it like this? Uh, check the box. Make an offering. There we go. 
Uh, my offering would be my green butterfly. Yes. The gift box store said to the unlucky girl, You call this a beautiful butterfly? Are you blind? Give me a beautiful butterfly! And then you shall be invited to join the Aristocrats Club. I was actually going to say a correction. You told me to get a green butterfly. You didn't tell me to get a beautiful butterfly. Jennifer found one leaf key. <sighs> key. A one leaf clover adorns one end of it. And I can use that toss to make the two, cle uh, two leaf clover things. I know where that is. I was going to go in here finally. Yes, I can. The library. Now then, let's see what's inside the library. It's probably a whole lot of nothing, because of my experiences, uh, Jennifer has no interest in reading. But you never know, there could be something in here. Which is why I'm running around mashing the Let's Explore button. And as expected, there's nothing in here. At least this door is unlocked now as well, though, so two doors unlocked. Now I'm pretty sure I already know the solution to the next puzzle. I just need to get back to the room with all the little clover doors. And I could probably enter inside the one leaf and the two leaf clover doors. But unless, of course, I get something else, it's, I'm not going to be able to go inside the four leaf clover door. Ah, oh, well. This was locked previously, is it still? No, wait, no, this wasn't locked. This is the dressing room. But I will take this opportunity to save my game. My as well if I'm the neighborhood. I always think that looks like a person at first, but it's just the angle at which things are aligned. Poor, helpless, and lucky girl, tell me your tale. I'm going to save my game. Thank you, Buckethead, for being so kind to me. So we'll save over here. The problem is, you're probably not having a real person. But the Buckethead's talking to me, so I guess I'll listen. Actually, if anything, the Buckethead's probably the good listener, and I'm the one that's telling my stories. The Jennifer... Yeah, Jennifer talked at the very beginning of this game. She said, she was asking the boy what he wanted. I was gonna say, she's made noises, but I don't think Jennifer's actually spoken a single line of dialogue outside of the very beginning of the game. Now that I'm actually thinking about it, uh, there are characters that are pretty much to suit yourself into them, but... Yeah, Jennifer hasn't really said anything. <gasps> In front of the unlucky girl stood a man in the brown co in a mount in a brown coat that she had never seen before. The man quietly handed her a storybook. The Cloverfield. The Cloverfield. It's a picture of a. Once upon a time, there was an unlucky girl. All she wanted was to be happy, so she went to a clover field. She found a one-leaf clover, but she dropped it on the road. She found a two-leaf clover, but it slipped into the shadows. She found a three-leaf clover, but a witch hid it away. She wanted to find a four-leaf clover, but she was too unlucky. And the rest of it's blank. Anyways, so I think this is a clue to what I have to do here. I found one clover, a one-leaf clover, on the road. So that's probably what I found. A two-leaf clover slips in the shadows. I have not seen anything in the shadows. But the witch, the witch, I know where that is. Because that was, uh, there's that one woman who was defined earlier as a witch. Jennifer found the clover field. Seems like there's a storybook for each area. First was the princess one, now it's uh, apparently clovers. So, yeah, it's just pipes. So let's go over to the clover room and see what we can do. 